Yeah, right, eh, boys and girls? I'm going to bloody show you Gun Over Edge. Gun Over Edge at Red Rope Access. Great Western bloody Australia. Okay, so you're going to claim the wall and you're a descender. Just because purely I'm just eliminating a move from having to transfer from my ascender to my descender. I'm choosing this claim in my descender. Right. So you're going to claim up, up to the, the rope pros. I'm going to open up these rope pros. So obviously these are protecting your ropes from a potential edge, edge of the building maybe, or but. So I've opened them up, and I'm going to choose the easy fix first. Backup device, boom, above that edge. Yep, so that's cool. So now I know my backup's nice and high. Cool. From there, I'm going to move my hand ascender up. I'm going to take this extra, as I said, as I said before, 100 million rope access is massive. So I'm going to take this. Right up. So now the difference there, okay, I was about 200 mil, but right. So from there, I, I've now went from being below, below the edge, so I can now see clearly above the edge. That's a good place to be. Right, so from there, I can now remove my chest ascender, my hand ascender, sort of move it above on the rope, on the, on the working line. So that's going to bite in here, right? So from there, for me, this is really important. So you'll see here, I use I use my sign as a, as a reference point. So I know I'm going to shorten my foot loop. I've got these singing rock um, uh, foot loops. I think they're, they're branging, they're brilliant, man. So I'm going to shorten that up. So I've now created a step for me to step up and over over the edge. Go a little bit shorter. So you'll see here, I'll create a step, yeah? Give or take, I'm 100 or so mil above that sign. From there, my right foot in that foot loop, okay? I'm going to grab that rope directly on top of my descending device. I'm going to reach out my left hand on that hand descender. I'm going to give it the one, two, three. I'm going to punch up to my descender. Now you've got all the time in the world here to stand, make yourself safe. So now I can move my, my backup device nice and high up on that rope. I can step up nice and comfortable over the edge. Now I've got shorts on, this is great and can be pretty sharp, so I'm going to keep my knees on the rope pros. Okay, so I've now stepped up over the edge. Now I'm on a platform here where, um, where there's an exposed edge, there's a missing handrail here, so you must remain on one point at all times when you're on this platform. Okay, so I'm going to move chest to my hand ascender. Can now remove my descend device. Now, if I was to be away to be working on this platform, I would then ensure my ropes are in these rope pros. I would close them up in the event I may need rescued or for the next person coming up. Okay, so I'll close these up. Job, job done. Now I'm waiting to demonstrate coming down and back over the edge. Okay, so I've now came across to go over the edge on this platform. I've obviously got my one point, got my backup device already on the rope. I'm not gonna take it off and on. Right, so I'm gonna open these rope pros. Once again, rest when he's in here. If I go over the edge, I want to ensure my descending device lands over the edge. So what I'm going to do here, you'll see here we've got a, a void here. We've got the web of the beam. So I'm going to grab this rope near the bottom of this be of the web of the beam. Okay, so I'm going to grab that. I'm going to use that as my as my reference point. Open up my descender. Get okay, thread that into my descending device. Okay, close that up. But I'm not going to pull that slack through, okay? So that's now slack here, just to make sure you've got the descender, descender thread direct in the correct direction. Uh, you just the instructions on the descender if you need be, okay? From there.
from my chest, my Honda Sender, okay? And when I came up, I used a reference point. I used the top of my, my um, rope protection as a reference point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach this Honda Sender to the same point, because I know that's how I came up, and that's exactly how I'm gonna go back over. I'm gonna move that across this side, okay? So it's off the, so this rope go here uh, is primary for the, for the ropes, okay? So from there, I don't need to readjust my foot loop, so I'll adjust that on the way up. So from there, lads and lasses, I can now comfortably stand on that foot loop. My descenders here, okay, I can I can see here. If I go if I was to sit down and get rid of the bomb, so I can give that a little tweak through, okay. From there, same again, nice and comfortable, I'm gonna get a stand. It's now sit down. My ropes in that rope. That's critical that your ropes land in that rope because it's protecting your ropes, obviously. I can reach up, grab my backup device, get my foot out of that foot loop, reach up, remove my hand ascender and foot loop. Finish with that. Close up this rope, bro. Move my backup device over that edge. Begin to close up that rope, bro. Now I can descend slightly. Finish closing up that rope, bro. Very important because that's for the, for the next person that comes up. We go. Job done.